The next book on the tarot we will share is called The New Mythic Tarot by two women, Juliet uh, Sharman Burke and Liz Green, with illustrations by Giovanni Caselli. And you see one of the cards, very large, a card art on the cover there. And down there you see who it's written by and so forth. And uh, it is a very long book. And what this does is go into Greek mythology in detail. From this, you will learn many things about the Greek uh, names, people, and, and ideas that you're not familiar with. That's one of the uh, great things about this. Now, let's turn to the Wheel of Fortune. We'll, we'll use that card as an example. In fact, uh, Giovanni Caselli's card, the Wheel of Fortune, is done in this manner you see right here. You notice here, human beings on the wheel. There are women on the wheel as well, and other things on the wheel. Now, all of these separate things are very, very important when they discuss this. And as we say, uh, another thing that's nice about it is when you read about it, it'll take pieces of the card or sections of the card and we'll talk about each of them as you see. There's the card there, and then you'll notice on the side there are things about it. Now, I'll give you a quick example. For example, on the left, left of it, it says... <clears throat> um, First of all, I'll read you what it says about it. The Wheel of Fortune uh, portrays three women seated within a dark cave. The first is young and spins the thread with a golden needle. The second is handsome and mature and measures the length of the thread between her hands. The third is old and holds a pair of shears. In the center between them is a golden wheel shared around with the four human figures can be seen in all different positions. Through the mouth of the cave, a rich green landscape is visible. Now, then they take each section of the card, as you see here, and talk about the sides of it. And I will just read briefly just what that is. It says, the wheel, which the M-O-I-A-I -I spin, measures and cut the light are likened to weaving of the tissues of the body, which takes place in the womb. Thus, suggesting that fate is bound up with heredity and with the body itself. And then on the bottom it says, the three ages of the Maori affect the lunar phase, young crescent, full and finally dark, the three stages of every human life. And on the right it says, the cave suggests both the womb from which life springs and the room womb to which it returns, the beginning and the end of fate. And then throughout the rest of this, when you read the text, first it explains the text in detail, and then it says on the inner level. Now that is very, very interesting. The detail is fine, and it tells you what Maori is, and Zeus, and other people who belong to that generation of Greek people who are represented by this card. And then it says the inner level, and that is even longer and talks about how that works on the inside of each person. And then the next section says, the next section says, the, on the divinatory level, in other words, so forth. Uh, now, that's the divinatory level. So when you're finding out what the card means for divination, that's another way it can be done. Now, therefore, this is an excellent one on Greek mythology. Great amount of learning in this. If you know nothing about Greek mythology, that's a fantastic book. That is an excellent mythological tarot book, and the illustrations are also quite good.